Hello and welcome Libra to your October 2023 tarot reading. My name is Jeff here with you at Raise Your Vibration TV in the studios on a beautiful weekend morning. Just taking it in. We got this slash fall summer weather coming and it's here and it feels good. Feels good. Laid out in the sun yesterday. I know it was kind of odd. You know, there's like, <laughs> I have a black walnut tree in my yard and they're like falling and they're like the size of a tennis ball. And uh, one got really close to hitting me on the top of the head. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, this stuff's falling out of the trees. Leaves are falling and I'm in there in my shorts <laughs> laying out in the sun. I don't care. I love the sun. I'm a Leo. Gotta have it. All right, Libra. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just so giddy that, you know, the sun's open. I can still have my windows open. I am not looking forward to winter at all. I don't know why I live in western New York. I just don't know, Libra. But let's navigate the energies for the month for you. Let's get some cards. Boy, they're flying out. Let's see what Libra's got for October. What you got for me, guys? Hmm, yeah, we got a... Hmm. Yeah, I think it's got to go that way. Okay. All right. Wow. Libra. We got the Five of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. Pentacles in Tarot have to do with money. Some of you Libras may be getting a good job opportunity here. The problem is, though, of course, there's always a problem, a solution, and a result in my readings. The problem is, is that you have this fear of failure. Maybe some of you have lost your job recently. Not a problem. The Knight of Wands says, keep that spark going. You've got to keep that spark going. you got to keep that spark going. Because the universe is handing you something here. And Knight of Pentacles is wish fulfillment. That's, that, you know, that's security, that's stability. There's, there's something going on here. And this is eclipse season. So this is going to be focusing... Right now, the energy is on money, finances, that kind of thing. But we're not going to see this if we're in here. Like, uh, this is how I run my business. I focus on success. I don't focus on failures. I mean, I, I, don't, I, I don't overlook slow days or anything like that, but I don't focus on them. You know what I mean? I have to focus on being successful and doing this no matter what. And when you start to wring your hands and go, oh, I got the bills to pay. I got this. Oh, you know, oh boy, that's when things start to go tits up. That, that's what I like to say. It goes tits up. We don't want that this time around, Libra. You need to keep that spark going because this month is going to be very beneficial for you. Very beneficial. It could also be um, getting out of a debt mentality also with this. Okay, let's get some clarifiers here. The Psychic Tarot. Short and simple, sweet, short and simple. I mean, this is what we're doing. We're getting out of this fear of failure. You may be wanting to start a business and you're afraid of, you know, that's, what, that's why it took me so long to start mine. You know, I've wanted to do this since I was like 18 years old. And, you know... I'm finally seeing the benefits of my manifestation at 54. I didn't need to do that. I could have done that earlier, but I had a lot of things to work out and to learn in that time, you know? And the one thing I had to get over was fear of failure. I mean, that's just, if, if you're afraid you're going to fail, then you will. I mean, it's where you put your focus. Yep, that wanted to come out. Okay. Okay. So let's get some clarifiers here. Yeah, trapped in fear. Can't make this up. Emotional loss and solitude. So that's what's going to change all of this. Is getting that spark back in your solitude. This is almost the hermit card. Using that, using that inner wisdom for yourself. You know what I mean? And you can conquer this because there is a new beginning happening for you in October that has to do with your prosperity and your security. And you can't feel secure if you're insecure. 
Those are two totally different energies, two totally different frequencies, two totally different vibes. And that's why you have to raise your vibration. You see, everything here makes sense when you really look at it. And that's what I want you to do with your life, Libra, this month is really take a look at it and see exactly what you're doing wrong. It's not the world, my friend. It's you. Okay, yeah, caution. What's the caution? We're trapped in fear. How do we do this? We reflect. The hermit card. We need to reflect mid-month. Right around that, right around that uh, new moon that's happening on the 14th. The, the new moon solar eclipse. That, guess what? It's happening in 22 degrees Libra. You can't make this shit up. I, I mean... You got to change the energy of this. Change your energy. Be aware of your energy. Is it in failure or is it in success? That ignites your passion. You can't make this shit up. And then you go with the flow. Yeah, that's what happens. That's how this nine of pentacles can pay off. If you just simply go with the flow. Right now you're fighting it with this being trapped in fear. Okay? Now... Let's switch gears here and take a look at relationships. Boy, I really didn't have to elaborate here. It's very cut and dry, Libra. Pay attention to what's being told here. You can change the energy with reflection and getting your passion back by letting go of your fear of failure and just going with the flow. Like I stopped asking who, what, where, when, and how. And I just let what my dream come to me. I align to it. I was passionate about it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to get it. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to get it. All right. Now let's switch the gears to relationships. Wow, look at that. Ten of Pentacles. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles. That's a payoff. That is the universe saying, yes, you go with the flow. It's paying off. I'm telling you, this is huge opportunity here. Page of Cups. Someone's coming in. Temperance. That's all about balance, patience, divine timing is at work here. Divine timing is at work here in your relationships. And there is someone coming in, possibly a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, possibly. I'm not saying that is, but, you know, it's a page of cups. It's a water sign. There's a message here especially with love, but you got to be patient with it. You may be waiting on this message, and this is why there's a fear here. Oh, I don't think it's going to happen for me. Yes, it is. You have to do some reflection, focus on your passion, be passionate about this relationship, and know that the, the universe aligns you with that relationship you want when you are in alignment with what you want. You see what I'm saying? It has to start within before it can manifest into the 3D. And that's really important for you to understand. And that could be about relate, that could be about anything in your life. But it's the fear that this may not happen. I'm not going to receive this message is mucking up the uh the works here. So let's get some romance angel cards. Let's get some influence here. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Mm. Maybe you're addicted to that drama. Maybe you're addicted to something that you are afraid that they're going to find out about. <sighs> Let go of control issues, Libra. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. That's what the temperance card is saying. Allow this to flow. Flow. Let it flow. Let go of control. You're going to get it. Trust me. Nine and nine and ten of pentacles here. Different decks. Yeah, you're getting it. Express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. Maybe you got to take the initiative in this. I say do it. Don't have a fear of failure doing it or else it will never happen. You know what I mean? Let's get some uh, cosmic insights from my Libras. Let's get some messages for Libra. What do they need to know about their love life? Oof. For October. Can I get one more? Thank you. One more. 
Okay, let's put this back. Cycles, fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. Yeah, that's definitely happening. Don't fear the ending. Don't fear the ending. Someone else, someone is in the middle. Someone is trying to sabotage this. Guess what, Libra? I think it's you. I think you're self-sabotaging this. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I think, you know, with all these pentacles, yeah, I think that's the energy here. It's an earth sign. Feet on the ground. Security. Being established. You know? So you may have a water sign or an earth sign walking into your life. Do not fear that there's somebody else or they don't love me. I mean, I mean, come on, stop it. This is fear. This is fear of failure. Okay? Let's get some... This is probably the shortest reading I've done so far out of all 12 zodiac signs. But that's okay because Libra don't want to mess around. Okay? Libra, I would like to have you think about a question, a yes or a no question you would like answered. Go ahead and take a deep breath in. And then let it out. Good. Think of your question, yes or no. I'll wait. There it is. Here's your answer. Yes. Proceed. There you go. Everything is energy. Practice mindfulness. Everything is energy. Where is your energy this month, Libra? Is it in lack and fear and hurt? Or is it reflection and making things happen? Okay. Last but not least, for October, Libra, shift your perception. Remember when I said someone's trying to sabotage this? It's because you are in a low vibrational state and you need to raise your vibration. And how you do that is that you say thank you for that beautiful relationship. Thank you for that beautiful job. Thank you. Ask, act as if. Shift your perception. You change your energy. You get passionate about what you want instead of fearful and you will get it. See all that red in there? That's security. That's root chakra. That is saying, I deserve this. Pretty powerful, Libra. All right, I am also going to be offering personal readings for you. Link will be in the description, all of that. Give me some time because I'm going to be working out a schedule that will be beneficial for everybody. Um, also watch your horoscope for the month with those two readings together, how they coincide with the eclipse energy. You can learn all about that through the astrology report. You're golden, but you got to shift your perception. You're messing this up. You're in the way of you getting success. Think about that this month and shift it and demand it and get it. Okay, Libra. Thank you so much. And I will see you in November.